On the ground, sound travels at about 340 meters per second. If you go faster than that, then it's supersonic. And if you go more than about five times faster, it's called hypersonic. And there's no real um, magic number for how fast you're going. But what happens is, as you get more hypersonic, so as you go faster and faster, the heating effects of the flow start to become really important. So this facility here can make a flow that's like flying at 40 kilometers altitude at 10 times the speed of sound, or it can make a flow that looks like a vehicle entering into a planetary atmosphere like Mars, but only for a millisecond, only for a thousandth of a second. So we use these really high speed, very advanced laser diagnostics to make measurements in facilities like that, as well as on real flight tests. In the natural world, things like meteors and asteroids coming into the Earth's atmosphere go at hypersonic speeds. The space shuttle and other space vehicles go at, go at hypersonic speeds. People are attempting to build aircraft that go at hypersonic speeds. They build, are attempting to build missiles that go at hypersonic speeds. There are lots of reasons to want to go really fast. 